What questions may you have of the donning and doffing procedures for both the caregiver and the buddy? Yes. Okay, after the buddy is done cleaning the room, they place a new doffing pad and a new wet pad. Right. And they stand on that pad, correct? Yes. And after that, they don't do anything until the next person comes out? Mm. Okay, just make sure. Yep. Because you're not really contaminated. But, okay. You know, uh, just like we said, you're, yeah. unless there's some yeah. catastrophe that happens, the buddy should not be contaminated. Because once she cleans up, when I've been in there, once she cleans up and mops and everything else, now that is now a clean zone. Okay. The red zone has been taken away. Okay. And I'd wipe off the stool too. You didn't read that. Yeah, mop and wipe off the floor. Yeah, off the counter. Yeah, every Everything surface. Counter. Now, you, you keep hearing us talk about the breach of the PPE. For a lot of the breaches that we're talking about, you'll be able to handle that yourselves. You know, by either disinfectant wipe as many times as you need to or whatever. We're going to get you out as fast as we can, though, even if it's a small breach. If it's a catastrophic breach, something happens and you, the PPE just rips for whatever case. You caught it on something or whatever the case may be. You're going to immediately notify your observer because there's a whole different aspect that's going to come into that at that point in time. One of us will be up there to guide you through that. So don't worry about that part of it. If it's catastrophic breach, just stop. That's all you, you need to do is just stop. We're coming to assist you from there. But it's going to be quite different than all of this and we just didn't think that you needed to know about all that. Okay, that's for us. So, are there any other questions for this? The, the personal shoes are, you're going to go into the shower with your personal shoes, right? Yeah, because we're going to dis. the reason we have the towel with the bleach on it is to disinfect the bottom of the shoes, just in case. Yes. And then prior to stepping off of that, you're actually going to take a Clorox wipe and wipe the tops and sides off. So, they'll be decontaminated and clean. Then you can walk off to the personal shower. A lot of people sit there and go, well, why the personal shower? Uh, for some of the people that I've already trained uh, for chemical decontamination, the shower was to get the stuff off of us. In this case, the shower is for your benefit. It's rehabilitation. Whether you're the caregiver or the buddy, if you've ever had a chance to be in any type of personal protective equipment, and I know some of you have, the first thing I know I want to do is I want to go take a shower. You know, because it makes me feel better. On top of that, when you come out, you're going to get your personal shower, you're going to come back and we're going to do what we call rehab. And that's going to be drinking water, eating a power bar, some sort of food, whatever the case may be. At that point, it's everybody's chance to watch you to make sure that you're okay. Not so much from the contamination, but from a personal aspect of it. But there are some people that will, you know, just go in there one time and say, you know what, I can't do this again. You know, we call it a debrief, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to be looking for any type of stress on, on you as the caregiver and the buddy. So again, slow, methodical, meticulous, getting into the equipment, while you're in the room, and then especially when we're doffing. Okay? Ladies, have I missed anything? I don't think so. I think we've covered. Can we have two pair of shoes, one for patients, one is outside? Sure. Okay. We've had people ask us how many pairs of shoes they should we buy? Should we buy? We always say, hey, it's up to you. If it were me, I'd probably have four or five of them. No, I mean, like you going in the room and you use one pair of shoes and outside of the room or... Sure. Right. Yeah. Even go to the shower. Even, can, yeah. Yeah. Either that or we will have some surgical booties, you know, just a little cover your feet to, to pad over to the shower. Mm -hmm. Which oh, does... What is the shower? It is down the hall from 40C, so near the OR area. Mm -hmm. Oh, OR, not yeah. because... Yeah. You see, we're just kind of taking over a lot of stuff here in the hospital yeah. if that happens. No. We'll have, we'll have towels and everything for you. One thing that we didn't cover because it didn't happen is when we started doing this, um, 
we had, and we were doffing either the waders or the booties. The thing you need to understand, be careful with that, because what we did find, we had a couple of us do it, is we get that booty or the waiter off and we toe tap. It's one of those reflexive things or whatever, you take it off, boom, and you go, <clears throat> just take your shoe off. It's not going anywhere except into the disposal. That's why we say buy as many pairs of those shoes as you want to.